Hello and welcome back to HIP. So we are in a war for Ferrara, which we should win. Uh, now, let's just double check because I don't think... Yeah, okay, it's not in any alliances, but I don't think we checked previously. We've got 2,000 troops. Uh, we have much more money if he ends up trying to do a kind of mercenary war with us, so we should be all right. He does have men that are raised and in Italy, though, so that's going to be a problem. However, we should be able to get our Croatian men around there in no time. Uh, I haven't raised our own levies because I want to uh, let them recharge a little bit. But apart from that, we're fine. Yeah, let's unpause and let things go. Okay. Oh, yeah. I also called the uh, HRE into the war. So, should be going fairly okay, I'd imagine. Uh, ooh, I'm getting rid of robber bands and things. So, that's good. That's going to make some of these provinces worth a little bit more. Offer to join war. Oh, my uh, son-in-law, who I'm pressing the claim for, has offered to join the war. That seems fantastic. Yes, you can join the war. No problem. Yeah. Another couple hundred troops. Eh, not really too much, but it's okay. We'll put in Aldo, uh, Kulwen, my son-in-law, and Duralamo here. And they can move their way up to Ferrara. And once these guys get together, we'll give them a leader as well. Right. Uh... Leonardo, and they can also have uh, Gocho. He's going to head around this way. Actually, they can probably head into Venice itself. Okay. No real problem. We should win the war easily, I'd imagine. I mean, we have the HRE in the war. It's not really a way that we're going to, uh, well, lose it. Oh, we've already sieged this one? Nice. Nice. Next province along then, I guess. Okay, um, we got the siege here. I, uh, I don't like how this window opens. In the base game, it's fine because the siege window's over here. But in this game, mm, yeah, it's a little bit annoying because you can't really see any everything. Anyway, whatever. It's all right. Uh, these sieges should be fairly quick. Seem to be going okay. Uh, Son has become a trained fighter. Nice. Uh, this guy in Croatia is continuing to uh, solidify his previous land. That's all right. We slowed him down temporarily. We have granddaughter Livia. He's going to get the humility education. There we go. Double siege is finished. This one's about to finish. Uh, take th these people's leader. Uh, it doesn't look like it gets his war score, so I think I'll just trade him in for money. 70 gold and 14 gold for the other one. Uh, I always imagined that would be the first of us to go, and now I'm the one morning departure of my dear friend. Uh, distance yourself from all your friends. Gain depressed, or drink in his honor. Yeah, drink in our friend's honor. Um, okay, I am at the table with this guy, and we could become friends. Yeah, sure. Seems, sounds good. Nice, a little bit of money back. Continue your siege. And... Finish both of those. Provinces are succeed. Oh, we didn't finish that one. Okay. We get so many events, it's hard to tell. Right. And uh, as you know, that no, I and those vassals are part of faction or law subjects. Show sure, devotion. We're hosting a banquet to your rule. Oh, nice. Good. I think that was somebody assaulting there. Okay. Uh, we'll merge up over into this province. And we can probably assault that down. Nice, 100% war score. Offer peace and force demands. All of that is now underneath Ferrara. Nice, and my son-in-law is now much more powerful. Good. Disband. And... Yeah, I guess we'll just leave the men there. Now, I do want to attack them again. So I'd quite like to take this as well for my son-in-law. Um... We're going to check. We haven't got much chance of killing him. He is 60, so there is a chance he'll just die. Let's see what our kill chance comes to when we invite some more people in here. Uh, nobody's really interested. That's the problem. Okay, we'll ditch it. Not a problem. Here, uh, I think I'm just going to release these people if they've been in prison long enough. That's fine. Uh, we can compose a book. Interesting. Wait, that's donations to Holy Order. Compose a book. Hmm. Because we have high enough learning, we could do that and then pass on some stuff to our children. Let's do that. Or to whoever becomes our, um, whoever becomes our heir. Council! I yell, making some uh, courtiers scurry away from me. While others approach slowly, 
uh, while others approach slowly, I... While others approach slowly. I am their despot after all. It's time we talk about how to best preserve my ideas for our descendants. They nod and exchange nervous glances while I consider my decisions what should be my legacy. Complexities of... Oh, so what kind of theme do we want? Marshall's probably our best one. Yeah. Marshall's kind of the best one. Let's choose Marshall theme. Yeah, see if we can pass on some of our Marshall knowledge. Okay. Uh, this guy would like to be on the council. I'm going to tell him no. Which is alright. Uh, we righteously imprison this guy. Yeah, not anymore because we have auto stop plots on. That's fine. Money's continuing to come in. We're no longer a novice fighter or no fighter at all. I think we started off as skilled, so we've dropped quite a long way. The Knights of Santiago, this chivalric order, owes its name to Santiago Matromos, uh, or St. James the Moor Slayer, as he is known in other parts of the world. The Order of Santiago offers, uh, no, enjoys the official sponsorship of the Catholic Church, and its knights have all sworn to purge entire realms of heathens and heretics. Cool. Ends good. What's this? My liege is joining someone else's war. Oh, alright, sure, whatever. Is there a revolt in the Holy Roman Empire? Well, we will, of course, join. Not that he needs us, but, you know, that's fine, we'll join it. Not a huge issue. Oh, wow. We joined a war where he was losing badly. Um, so what is that? Oh, so this cannon over here is attacking where? Uh, that's not that one I want to look at. That one's attacking this guy. Oh, all right. There's, all right, so he's very close to the Byzantines, but it stretches a really long way. Yeah, it's not ideal for him. Anyway, we don't need to worry about that. Um, oh, do we have enough space for another retinue? No. Okay, that's fine. Continue chilling out here. The invitation is uh, arrived from this guy calling all members of our faction to arrive. Uh, I want them to be removed as leader. Uh, my daughter is feeling unwell. She has dysentery. That's unfortunate. He must go. And... Yes, he has uh, won his vote of non-confidence. Okay, that's fine. Uh, child needs educated. This is my son. My son is... A stewardship education seems like it's probably going to get him the best overall. Indolence bad in all three, so... Yeah, sure. We'll take that one. Um, yeah, so he didn't do very well in this speech, our leader there. Or faction. That's okay. Uh, I introduced my friends, and they didn't like each other. In fact, they became rivals. Okay. People are forming alliances. That's okay. Continuing to get rid of negative effects in these ones. And they're all starting to get more and more um, people in them. My wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Uh, so how many men do we have now? We're getting there. We're getting there. My beloved uh, wife is born. Keeps talking about new fashion she's heard about. Now she wants me to introduce her at court. New fashion is, uh, vanity is a sin, let's go to the church. Alright, or, this is my money you're talking about. You want Zealous? Zealous is more martial. Let's pick up, let's get Zealous. Yeah, sure. Okay. I would love to be able to attack over here. Who's currently attacking? Hmm. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to get all that land. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We're only going to get one bit of that land. Is that, is, is that a new person? No. Also, I don't have a reason to declare war. I guess... Wait, why don't I have a reason to declare war? I thought we had the... Uh, I thought our son-in-law had another claim. Unless he's not around anymore. He has the weak... Ah, he only has a weak claim on the duchy. But the weak claim will no longer work. I see. I I'm, having drinks and plen I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Duke uh, Cosmos of... Uh, sh Shaldia tonight. It's lovely, warm, warm, charm most by his Cosmos himself. Or Co Cosmas himself. Why else would I not immediately stop a conversation? Yeah, let's have a conversation under uh, with alcohol. There that goes. Uh, my daughter died. Okay, attending to chamber business. Okay, that's fine. We have two grandsons who are landed. It's alright. Um, he said he gave me a leather pouch. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that. Uh, he says, what if I told you all that you were taught to believe is a lie? 
Uh, God lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden, reject the tyrant uh, deity and let Lucifer guide your steps. Do we dare? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yes, we're going to go and join Satan by the sounds of it. Sounds good. It's been some time since Ju uh, Cosmas was in contact with me. I've been mulling over his words. God told Adam he would die if he ate of the forbidden fruit. God lied. The priest in the church lie. Oh, we could lose Chase. Hmm. Yeah, I'll lose Chase. It's all right. It's absolutely fine. Uh, that's a good one to get rid of. Uh, yeah, we'll strike a bargain. What's this? Child needs a childhood focus. I don't know. Faith. Seems all right. We've got a lot of money. I don't really want to upgrade our current holdings, though, so I'm just going to hold out a little bit on uh, doing everything, because we are going to switch our capital when we die. Uh, we have a messenger, Adela. All right. Interesting. Um, pleased to find you not only a charming man, Otofiana, but one capable of intellectual discourse, the veteran value not a pursuit of knowledge in addition to more earthly pursuits. We'll see how committed you are. Okay, and then... Adela escorts me to my bedchamber. I hesitate upon emptying, entering, finding it flooded with light as candles form a circle around my bed. Several hooded figures surround the room, chanting in unison, Fear not, brother. Power and pleasure, these are the gifts of Satan. I like the sound of that. Wake up and the cloaked figures are gone, and Adela is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own, despot Ottaviano, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I will look back at this moment. Oh, definitely, a budding romance. Sounds good. Now, that is a perfect image for somebody who's in a cult. That's perfect. Yeah. Uh, young Ezio is impressing everyone with sensible choices and great capacity for self-restraint. Uh, sounds good. Yeah. He's also stressed now. Oh. Oh, well. It's all right. Stewardship's pretty good. Uh, we had a daughter named Alessandra. Okay. Uh, let's give her a thrift education. Okay. Uh, you try to make Georgia a tributary state. That's fine. Don't need to worry about that. Where's Georgia? Oh, it's there. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Don't need to worry at all. Um, press him with vague promises. Do we have any claims? We have a strong claim on the Castron Offenbrello. But that's one that we already have. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can press. We have some on Termos, which are counties, or Termos. Then we have counties. Uh, yeah, okay, so we mostly only have county claims. It would be nice if we get some duchy claims here and there. Is there any in Hungary we want to get? Uh, let's have a look here. How about this one? That one looks fairly together. Any claimants? Yeah, and some who would join us. How strong is your claim? Weak. Hmm. Not really going to do anything right now. Yeah, okay. Anybody else we got? How about this one over here? Not that together right now, but yeah, maybe if we can get a claimant. We got Moses. Yeah, we got a weak claim. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like we've only really got weak claims around here. Not too good. Nice if we could get a better way of declaring war. Yeah. I do like, if we were to falsely confess our faith right now, we could actually stack faiths. So we could be a Satanist, pretending who was a Christian, pretending to be an Orthodox at some point. But, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Should change it over to that one. Uh, what can we do right now? Sacrifice and abduct. Okay, that's fine. I think we just stay at peace. Uh, this guy wants me to join him for a small gathering of friends. Sure, I'll go. What have we got now? We need a new court chaplain. Yeah. Court chaplain's gonna be this guy. And he can... I don't know. Uh, research cultural tech in our capital? Yeah. Okay. Um, I do know... This guy wants to be my, uh... Yeah. He wants to be my chancellor? Uh, I rule. Sorry. What I was... Th uh, yes. I remember where my brain was going here. Uh, we have a new heir, apparently. Why is this guy our heir? Why would I... 
No. How would Angelo not be your heir? He's so much better. Who am I voting for? Where are you voting for Angelo? I am. Yeah, why would this guy be our heir? He's awful. Anyway, uh, I do know how to make Glitterhoof uh, have glitter children and horse children, have them take over the world. Basically, um, the way to do that is to, um, yeah, you make her, you make Glitterhoof a concubine, and that's the way you do that. Anyway, uh, we, we don't have concubines, we can't do it. Idri de Potro, Porto, my sister in darkness, wants me to join her for a lark over in Tolna. There's a certain priest, a would-be witch hunter, who's been a thorn on our side for some time now. Time to teach the ar arrogant fool a lesson in manners. Sure. We found the zealous priest. Um, let's host a decadent feast in the idiot's name. Aride and I stayed to lavish feast in the abode of the dead priest, taking care only to invite dignitaries who weren't well acquainted. I guess we're shocked at the dancers and the half-naked mus musicians and the heady smoke from the exotic incense. But when we brought in the prostitutes, half the guests stood up and left. The other half were delighted. What will people think of your servants now, God? Uh, we've got many people who would like to be our Chancellor. Unfortunately, we already have one. We have Glitterhoof. Mighty Satan has given them much. Uh, Satan craves a, a soul to serve them in the Dark Realm when you perfect in mind capture and sacrifice the servant of God. Oh, I know who to sacrifice. Glitterhoof. Can I sacrifice Glitterhoof? Or does Glitterhoof have to be imprisoned? Can I imprison Glitterhoof without... It's tyrannical to imprison Glitterhoof, of course. Um, You know what, I'm gonna plot to kidnap Glitterhoof and everybody's gonna agree with me that it's a great idea. A thousand percent plot power. That's insane. Okay. Well, that's good. I've arrived at the rooms of uh, Duke Castellos. There is, uh, there is plenty of food and drink here. Good. Uh, call to arms against the Pope. Why? Oh, you've got uh, Imperial War for Pope Pius II's claim on the Papal State. Oh, because he has... Um, yeah, because he has the Antipope. Yeah, okay, we'll join. Seems good. I've been excommunicated. Oh no! This party needs some action. I'm gonna get undressed, then perhaps, yes. I'll bring some animals in here, and maybe, yes, that spear. And I'll set fire to the table, roast food over it, then, where are my pants? Oh right, yes, I took them off. Uh, now what? Uh, aha, there you are. Oh, oh, ouch. Oh, just sat on the spear. Oh, how amusing. I don't know why everyone is laughing. This is great. Pass me the wine. Yeah. I guess. Cool. Browsing is over for just now. Uh, being on your leash's council is not always easy. You have a huge amount of work that needs your attention so much to do. The list seems endless. Just about to give up Duke uh, Pantoleon as uh, steps through the door and asks if you want any help. Nah, that's alright. I'm stressed. Oh well. I've learned that uh, Go Joke spoke uh, his support for me at the faction meeting, greatly improving the mood of his faction. Hmm, okay. Fine. Stressed went away very quickly. That's good. For my stay in Altavito, I found a great philosopher who's agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture. Yeah. We'll get the uh, cultural tech points. Sounds good. Right. Disaster. Your fellow member of Lucifer's own uh, has been caught by Sacrosan uh, Romolo de Canoso? Canossa? Um, yeah, maybe it's a sign for me to lay low. We'll see. This guy would like to have a seat on the council. Mm, no. Probably is my answer. Yeah. That's a no for me. Okay, what have we got here? Are we in righteously imprison this guy because he's trying to... Oh, we can't righteously imprison him because we got stuff. Okay, that's fine. Finally, an opportunity to abduct Glitterhoof has arisen. One of the despot's personal guards has proven amiable to bribery, allowing the opportunity to take him while he sleeps. Well, I tell my co-conspirators to begin their preparations. Yes, definitely. It's come to my attention you're a leader of a plot to kidnap Glitterhoof. 
I find this most fascinating, and I bet others would too. I suspect that you wish to keep this a secret, but my silence comes for a price. Hmm. Uh, yep, okay, that's fine. Nobody can know. We got a special tie. We have kidnapped Glitterhoof. Success, Glitterhoof has been delivered in a sack to an abandoned keep near Altavito. There he is at my mercy, and no one can hear his screams. All that remains is to decide what to do with him. We can kill him qui um, quietly. Okay. We'll bring him to my dungeons, I'll decide later. Definitely. Now, um, we need someone to take over this position. Could be our Cathar one. We're trying to convert provinces. Or it can be this guy. Who isn't? That seems good. Might just generally improve relations around the place for a little bit. Uh, although we could start doing internal wars. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we start getting claims? You can try and get um, duchy claims on that guy. Alright. Um, right. So, Glitterhoof. Right, what were we going to do with you? Orders to take the virus, so they had to go and be a monk. Sacrifice to Satan, that was it, yes. I would like to sacrifice Glitterhoof. Dressed in a white cowd. <laughs> Glitterhoof seems hysterical as he is bound to the stake emerging from the pile of firewood. Frenzied warlocks scream praise to Satan as you approach with your blazing torch held high. At the appointed hour, you throw the torch into the oil-soaked wood. The fire roars to life and suddenly Glitterhoof's earlier screams seem quiet in comparison. A virgin for Satan. Oh, and I just received my horse armor at the exact same time. Oh no, it's because I bought Glitterhoof some horse armor and now I have some horse armor. Alright, yeah, sure. Um... Okay, well that was, that was alright. Glitterhoof recently went missing. And he's vanished into thin air. Hmm, I wonder where he could be. Though my last act of worship has, um, has been some time ago, I can still sense the inhuman touch upon my soul whenever I think about what I did. I've become a changed man. I'm no longer just. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.